Hello there and welcome to the first freebie from Make Your Transition and it is a lovely little drum rack that I've been using over the past couple of years in a lot of my productions. So let's have a quick listen and then break it down. So as you can hear, it's got a great groove to it, sounds brilliant. And these are all custom sounds that I've built from scratch using various generators, kick generators, etc. Give you an example, the closed hat is actually a white noise setting within operator. So more on that in a moment. So the great thing I love about drum racks more than anything, if I open this up here, is that you've got individual channels for each sound, but it's all kept under one roof. So it means that I can see the full MIDI groove here. And as you can see here, I've got the rides muted at the moment. So if I activate those, I can then see at a glance in an overall way what drums are being used, when in the production, and I never delete notes as you know, other producers may do, I tend to deactivate and then reactivate when I need them because it saves me a lot of time. So there's a bit of a workflow tip there for you. So each individual channel has obviously an individual drum sound and each one has been processed. As you can see in the case of the closed hat, again, I've got a delay, there's some side chaining involved there, there's an EQ8. And effectively, each sound has been produced specifically to go together and to be production ready. I've also got a couple of send and return chains here within the drum rack, which has been very, very useful to have. And then we can look at the macro controls to see how that's been useful. So say for example here, I've got a reverb macro here. And what that allows me to do is to send all of those sounds in the drum rack bar the kick and the dub sound at the end there, because it's got its own independent control. I can send that over to the reverb. So I can produce builds and drops just within the drum rack. So let me give you an example. I've got a high pass filter on the kick, as you can see there. And you can see the convenience of using the macros because my most used and most desired controls are all mapped here. So that makes life a lot easier. So I can produce a little bit of a break here if I roll off 125 down on the kick and then center the reverb to create a build and then a drop. So yeah, really, really super simple. You can then automate those in the context of a production. And other macros that I have include kick pitch, which allows me to obviously tune the kick to whatever track that I'm working on. It's a great sound. So it's really, really useful to have that there because obviously drum tunings are incredibly important in the context of production. Then going on to the closed hat here, I've actually got a, a decay here, which is the decay setting on the envelope on operator. So I can pull off a trick where I can take this sound from just a click to a closed hat to an open hat to effectively a riser. And again, you can hear there's a little bit of delay on there as well because I have this simple delay setup with the 1 16th notes and the 3 16th notes delay. It's the uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin delay for you wrestling fans out there. I know I'm terrible, aren't I? I'm not that funny. So in terms of what that will do, it gives you an extra dimension to the track that you're producing. So you can go from a groove like that, a nice flat groove at the beginning, and then add a little bit more shuffle. And it adds a nice amount of groove and syncopation that is you know, very, very desirable. Then finally, I've got another macro here called filling, which actually does a randomized fill using this MIDI randomizer here, which I've called Phil Spectre, because of course I have, because I think I'm funny. Anyway, I'm swiftly moving on from that. You'll hear this now as I move this over, that it will randomize the incoming MIDI and give you access to automatic drum fills.
So that can be nice and be automated through a track to give you that randomness and come up with fills that you might not come up with any other way. So I'm going to give this rack away for free with the sounds in it, and you can use it as a container to replace with your own sounds if so desired, or you can parachute them into your own productions. Really, really simple what you've got to do. All you have to do is go to transition.studio forward slash drum rack, hit download drum rack, put your details in, and then we'll send you automatically a link to a Dropbox, which will allow you to download it as an Ableton Live pack. So you'll need to be using Ableton Live 10 for this, and that will then obviously work straight away within the context of Ableton. So thanks very much for watching. Hope you are going to enjoy using this lovely drum rack. And yeah, keep in touch and let me know how you're using it in your productions and whether you've found it useful and how hopefully this will help you to finish more music. Thanks very much, guys. Speak to you soon.